While composing and decomposing numbers, some students may recognize that a number can be composed of zero and itself. For example, zero and five make five. Students may also recognize that the order in which parts are composed does not change the total. For example, two and three make five, and three and two make five. Composing a number means putting two parts together. Using linking cubes, we can compose five using one red cube and four blue cubes. One and four make five. And I can represent the one red cube and the four blue cubes. One and four make five. Decomposing means breaking a number apart into smaller parts. Using two color counters, we can decompose five into three and two. Five is three and two. Three. And two. You'll notice that the students are representing the two parts using a cotton swab or a line. This will lead them into the part-part-whole problem structure. Part-part-whole problems involve situations in which quantities have a relationship. Students begin to conceptualize a number as being made up from two or more parts. There is no action in part-part-whole situations. There could be at least three quantities involved, two parts and a whole. An example of representing and solving a word problem using students on a large work mat, and an example of representing and solving a word problem using counters or pictures, picture cards on a student size work mat have been provided in your lessons. Teachers may choose to use both representations or one that best addresses students' needs. Using a part-part-whole work mat and small zoo animal cards, we are going to represent the following part-part-whole problem. Henry saw three giraffes and one lion at the zoo. How many giraffes and lions did Henry see? Well, what do we know about the problem? We know there are three giraffes and one lion. Which part of the animals are giraffes? Three. Which part of the animals are lions? One. We can use the, how can we use the representation to figure out how many giraffes and lions Henry saw? Well, we can put all of the animals together. So here's one part, here's the other part, and we can put them all together. Henry saw four giraffes and lions. Students can represent the part part whole problem using the picture cards, or they can represent it using counters. Three giraffes, one lion, four giraffes and lions.